Wait, have I even done it for suppressions? So I just came back from Ulta and I'm going to be using pure products that I have not tried out. So let's get started. As you can tell, I got nothing on. So, All right, so the first thing that I already did was uh, apply this moisturizer. This is by Clinique. This is a moisture surge. I use this every day, by the way. This is not a part of the first impressions. Starting off with foundation, I'm going to be taking the Urban Decay All Nighter Liquid Foundation in the color 2.0. I really hope this is my color, though. I'm usually, like, the second to lightest so I'm really hoping this is it. I've heard a lot of great things about this foundation by the way. It's supposed to be like ooh, the packaging though. It's supposed to be really great coverage and it's matte. Perfect for me because your girl got oily skin. Alright, I'm just gonna pump this in the back of my hand. I don't know like how much product to put but yellow. I'm just gonna dot this on the face first. I feel like it's gonna be my color. Yeah, it totally does feel like already kind of thick. I'm just going to take my beauty blender and blend this out. Oh my god, this is like hella full coverage. Oh my god, I went today to Ulta with my mom actually. So I was looking for a shade for her and I was just like trying to pump it in the back of my hand and I got it on my freaking sweater. Right here. I was like, is this a joke? And I really doubt it's going to come off. So if y'all know of any good tricks of removing foundation off your clothing, <laughs> let a girl know. I feel like this is my color. What do you guys think? I think it matched pretty well. I was supposed to shake this before using it. I feel like it dried to like a powdery finish. So now for my concealer, I'm going to be taking this Ofra Skin Sculpting Wand. I remember opening this PR package where I had like every single shade. All of a sudden, like I just completely misplaced them. So today I was in my mom's room and I was going through her makeup and I found all these Ofra concealers and I kind of just looked at her. I was like, what is this doing here? Which by the way, I don't mind if she takes my makeup. I let her like have pretty much anything. But it was just so funny because I was like looking for these like crazy and wondering where had I left him. I'm gonna be using this one today in the color Dawn. I'm just gonna pop this on underneath the eyes. I'm trying to think if I ever use this concealer but I really don't recall like at all. Most of the time when she does grab my makeup it's just makeup that I have in boxes that it just will not put away. I have a bad habit when I'm opening PR packages like the makeup will stay in there for weeks. So anytime she grabs a makeup it's pretty much when she thinks I'm like careless about it which I'm not but I just I'm unorganized, you know? So so now I'm going to take my beauty blender and blend this out. I'm going to just apply this on my eyelid. The coverage is there, for sure. I almost feel like this is way too white. I don't know if you see, but I just went right over my nose and, like, nothing moved. Do you guys see that? Like, I'm going right over it, and it's staying the same. I'm not even sure if I'm liking this. This is a type of concealer that just won't move at all once it's set, which is a good thing when you blend it out right. To contour my face, I'm going to be taking the Tarte Tarchis Pro Glow Palette. I'm really excited to try this out because I've heard it makes reviews. Oh my god, it has mirrors on the sides. So I'm going to take this cream contouring shade. Okay, this really blends out nicely. So now I'm going to take this on my forehead too. This is really cool toned. I feel like it does look a little muddy. But I really do like how it's super blendable. Like it blends like a dream. So now to set the face, I'm going to be taking this Becca Blurring Powder. I did receive this in a PR package and I have not tried it out. I'm super excited though because it's supposed to work like a veil just to really blur out any imperfections, which I'm all for. And it also came with this soft kabuki brush. It looks like this. I really like the packaging of this though. Do you guys see this? I'm not sure if they have different colors. This is in the color Golden Hour, which I don't think is translucent. I want to see if it really like blurs pores and stuff, you know? I just don't know if I should like bake with this because it doesn't look it kind of has like some sheen in it. I feel like this is kind of dark for me Yeah, that's kind of weird. I thought it was like legit translucent Yeah, it for sure gives you a glow which I do like and it does feel really nice on the face I thought it was gonna be translucent, but it's not so I'm just gonna take my airspun loose powder And I'm actually really surprised that this concealer hasn't really creased a lot This Ofra concealer actually completely sets on its own, but I just I have to bake my face <laughs> All day, every day. I'm gonna go in with this Pure Mineral Glow Bronzing Powder. I did get this in my Boxy Charm from this month. It looks really pretty, so I'm just gonna apply this right above that contour. And I'm gonna just drag it up a little bit towards the cheeks because I'm gonna be skipping blush today. I'm just gonna drag it right on my cheeks. This looks really pretty. Now I'm gonna use the highlighters from the Tarte's palette. So I'm gonna take Lit and Strobe and mix those two together. That's really pretty. The highlighters for sure are 
bomb. I'm gonna take a little bit on my nose. I've been really avoiding the nose as much as I can though because I do get really oily there and I feel like by the, like after an hour my nose naturally has its own highlight. For my brows I'm actually gonna use the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. I've heard so many people talk about this brow product. I got this in the number six and I'm just like really stuck with my Anastasia brow definer but it was time for me to try something different. It's super cute. It is a little bit extra. Anytime a brow product has a spoolie, most likely I will just get rid of the lid on that side. So I probably will lose this to be honest. But yeah, it looks so cute. So I'm just going to start filling in my brows. Yeah, this product feels bomb. I really like that it's almost hard to get such a harsh brow with this. I noticed for me, I do like bold brows, but sometimes they just look too crazy, you know? That's pretty much it for the brows after I just took the Ofra concealer just to clean up under it. And I'm really liking this concealer because it dries like super quick. Now for eyeshadow, I'm going to be taking the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. I'm super excited to use this. This is Karina's palette, my sister's. We went to the Too Faced party and we got two palettes for our own, but I decided to give mine away. I'm doing a huge gift giveaway on my Instagram if you guys want to win the Sweet Peach palette as well as more makeup. It does end January 31st. If you guys want to try this palette out and a bunch of more makeup, then go to my Instagram and look at the rules. This palette smells so good. I'm going to grab this peachy color right here. I'm going to apply this just on my crease as a transition color. Oh my god, this is so pigmented. I feel like I applied a little bit too much on this side. I didn't know it was this pigmented though. I went a little bit ham. I love that. It just keeps on smelling like peaches. Now I'm going to take this warm brown right here. I'm going to take this on the outer part of the eye. And these eyeshadows blend out so good too. I'm going to purchase a palette for myself, honestly. I was really excited to try out my palette. But I did think about it. Like, I already kind of shared my makeup with Karina. Because, like, she always comes in my room and does her makeup. So I just figured, like, well, we could just use, like, her palette, you know? I'm just so amazed at how like pigmented and how softly they blend. Now I'm going to take this beautiful shimmery color right here. I can't really tell like what color it is. It's kind of like a peach. So I'm just going to apply this on the eyelid. I'm just applying some white eyeliner. I'm using the Kylie eyeliner in the color Snow. This is not a new product. I really like it because it opens up my eyes. And I used to be really into just skin tones because I thought white looked like too fake. But... I'm really like digging the white lately. <laughs> I'm gonna go back with the peach and I'm gonna pop that underneath the lower lash line. When I first saw the Too Faced Peach Palette, I was like, whatever about it. I mean, I was excited because like it smelled like peaches and all, but it wasn't something that I was like thinking I was gonna go crazy for. And then when I actually like saw it in my hands, I was kind of shook because the colors are so beautiful. This is something I for sure recommend. And now I'm going to go back in with this brown and just apply it like on the outer view of the eye to intensify it a little bit. I cannot wait for spring to use this. All right. I'm kind of feeling a soft eye today, so I'm going to leave it just like that and move on to mascara. All right, so now for mascara, I'm going to be taking this Maybelline The Colossal Big Shot Volume Express. I'm sure you guys already have heard of this mascara. Makeup by Sheila and Manny MUA did like a commercial for this. I was actually looking at the color and I got the color brownish black. I always have this problem when I go to the store, I see mascaras or eyeliners, and I automatically think they're all black. I'm still going to try it out. The packaging of this mascara, though, I love it. It's like super fancy so let's go ahead oh actually it looks pretty black so now i'm just gonna coat my lashes i really like the wand this is my favorite mascara at the moment it's the falsies push-up drama by maybelline just me using this out too i feel like i'm gonna really like it i'm gonna say though when i use mascaras i don't really care much about the length i only care about my bottom lashes so this is how the wands look it's very precise with the lashes and as you can see with this one it's more like just fluffy I'm going to be taking these Eyler Luxe Lashes. I'm super excited to try these. I love my Eyler uh, Grand Glamour by Vegas Nay. I like them because they're very dramatic. Most of my dramatic lashes I will have to order online. But the thing that I love about Eyler is I can go to Target. I can go to pretty much anywhere and they're going to have these lashes. If I'm feeling dramatic lashes one day, I don't have to wait days for my lashes to ship. But every time I go to Target, I do not see these at all. I went to Ulta today. I was like, damn, these look really dramatic. And these are my style right here so i saw them i was a little bit shook i feel like i'm gonna replace my grand glamour for these and these are in the style gilded all right let's pop these bad boys on i'm excited i don't have scissors at the moment you guys i feel like these do have to be a little cut 
So this is how the falsies look. The camera did die, so I just did this um, eye off camera. I'm just gonna apply some mascara because I feel like you can see a little bit of separation between my lashes and the falsies. So I'm just gonna go in there, just the root. So I never really like to apply mascara like on fake lashes because I feel like it ruins the shape of them. So moving on to the lips, uh, Makeup Forever did come out with some beautiful liquid lipsticks and I'm going to be using the number 101. It looks like a really pretty nude. I haven't used any of the liquid lipsticks yet, so let's see. I was going to use a lip liner, then I figured I don't have any like new ones. But for the most part, I always like to line my lips. This is super pigmented. So that's how that looks. I'm gonna do one last step. I'm gonna take this really pretty shimmery color from the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. I'm gonna apply this in the inner corner as a highlight. I feel like the eyes look almost matte. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of shimmer in there. Ooh, this color is hella pigmented. All right, guys, so that is it for this look. I really hope you enjoyed this look. I really wanted to do just something really soft today. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys enjoyed this full face of first impressions and if you would like for me to do more. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.